I'm running a demonstration video from uh, with a video file from the Rico Theater X. This is a 360 video, and I have it being stored on Dropbox. Since it's a 360 video, I can rotate it completely around, and it will sense the orientation of the mobile app. Of, uh, mobile app. This is on a Pixel 2, so you can go up and down or rotate it the other way. The touch screen is also enabled. You can build this application yourself. We have the full source code here. So if I go back this way, and I'll go back. We also have it on Dropbox. So you could just use your normal Dropbox application or the Dropbox API or access it through a web browser. And then you could see the, the video this way as well too, right? So I'll rotate it this way. So I have a YouTube video that's playing of a surfer that's just on a monitor so we can see the motion going here and it's coming over from Dropbox so you could have your staff upload your 360 videos to Dropbox this example is from uh, GitHub where we have another video that's on GitHub and you, the same thing can take effect here where you, as you rotate the physical device right so you also put it in this orientation and rotate it up or down it's usually you could put it into like a, maybe a headset as well too. So let's uh, take a look at the code and you can get the code yourself and build it. This video covers the use of a video player called Video360. And the author of it is Kilroy80. So we're using open source software from Kilroy80 to get the video to play. The back end of the Video360 is something called Excel Player on Android, which we're also using. So the Excel Player itself is from Google. The Ricoh Theta camera, Theta X or Z1, it, uh, it works in a type of workflow usually with a mobile phone. So in this case, we're using Android. And when you're on the work site, you probably want to send the command with your mobile phone to the camera to take a video. Uh, other videos that we made, other tutorials covered this step. Also, then you need to get the media from the camera to the mobile device. So you're walking around with a mobile phone and you wanna download the media from the camera to the mobile device. Then you wanna push it up to something like AWS, Google Storage, all these type of places. Once it's on Google Storage, you can view the media. To get started with this tutorial, you can go to Theta360 Developers. And the name of the repo we're working with is Theta Video Display 10. This is a Flutter project here. You can look at the README to get an idea of what we're doing. And then go to this green button. It says Code. Um, you should probably select HTTPS and then I'm going to copy the URL in here and then we'll go down to the command line and clone it down. So on a Windows computer, I'm going to do git clone. I'm going to press the right mouse button. And then I have the URL that's going to clone it into my Windows laptop. So I'll transfer into the directory, which is uh, theta video display 10. I'll do flutter pub get. Oh, look, I have a possible upgrade that I need to make on flutter. Okay, so I'll first do flutter upgrade. And this should upgrade my flutter to the newest version. So next I'm gonna take a physical device, Google Pixel not an emulator i'm going to plug it into the laptop here with a usb-c cable so i've already configured developer mode on this google pixel so it's a physical device and i'll show it on the screen for the next step so this screen here is a physical device i'm just displaying it onto my a laptop so you can see it with a visor so from the command line here I'm going to run flutter pub get 
so get down the packages and in this case I'll start up VS code okay so it's the pixel 2 that has selected which is the physical device I'm going to try to run it without debugging so on my phone it uh, came right up hopefully it does on yours and the way it's set up is there's a info button here which you can get it's a little bit more inf information about what this tutorial is intending to teach which is that you can get the theta Rico theta files onto a cloud-based service like GitHub, Firebase, or Dropbox, and then directly access the video files from there, right? So your staff would then upload it prior to your client base using it, and your application then can just download the video. And we're just showing that it can be um, it can be used, right? So you can you can play the video here. and also rotate it. You can stop it, reset it to the starting point, and replay it. The app doesn't take into uh, account the interface for landscape mode, right? So if I turn it sideways in landscape mode, it's gonna have this uh, overrun here. So I'll set up a media query dot of to get to grab the size of it. it so another size dot width is 411 here. So um, I think the easiest thing to do is actually to make the icon smaller if it's uh, in a uh, landscape mode. Okay, let's test it. Okay, I'll change it for the rest of them. Now we have it in portrait mode and then landscape mode, both works. The way uh, this thing is set up, I'll go full screen for this one. There's a series of routes, Firebase, Dropbox, GitHub. You don't have to have this necessarily these routes, but the routes can correspond to different screens. The screens are in this uh, left-hand panel here under lib where all our code is. There's a separate screen. And it's pretty straightforward. So let's go look at the Firebase screen. Uh, this is just the name, right? So Firebase screen is the name that you can create. You can change it to whatever you want. Like if you wanted to call it like a building one or a condominium that you're trying to sell one, you could have it there or condominiums. And there's a URL here. So if you change this URL to another URL, you will uh, get a, a different video that will appear. So you would need your own Firebase account. I'm just showing you the one that we're using for our business. So it's under uh, OpKey and under Products, then Storage. And then we have uh, some files here from Rico that we could upload. So the video that we're looking at is actually uh, 33 megabytes. So you could click on it and look at it here. But this is a good way to test to see whether the video itself is working. Where's it move? Oh, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's it's probably long enough. So I plugged the Rico Theta in with a video cable. I'm going to try to extract some video from it. 
uh, it's appearing as a local storage device on my Windows laptop computer. So I'll first copy the video over from the camera onto my local computer and we can maybe test it out here. Then I'll upload it onto the Firebase storage here. Videos, Rico, Sample. And it's uploading. Okay, once it's uh, uploaded, we could click on it like this, and then we can grab the URL. So up to the out equals media, we're not including the token. I have my Firebase storage set up so you can grab the media. Okay, so back in the code, I'm gonna swap it for the new video. Then I'm gonna re rerun it here. Now it's showing the new video here. Let's get it in the right perspective. So all you need to do for the tutorial is actually to change this one URL here. Obviously, when you make your own app, you probably um, probably want to set up something to push up the the media from the mobile device onto Firebase storage and then grab that URL and then pull it back down. But this is a simplified tutorial, so we're just hard, we're just hard coding the uh, the URL in here so that you can at least get more experience with the video player itself. There's a lot more videos and information on using the Rico Theta API to build mobile apps. I encourage you to go to this site, starter.theta360.guide, for more information.